solve the following Bernoulli's differential equation. So Bernoulli's differential equations are almost linear, uh, like let's say dy over dx plus some function of independent variable and y and function of independent variable and there will be y to the power something. Okay, If we did not have this y to the n, then that would be a linear. But because of y to the n, just here, this is nonlinear. And special type is called Bernoulli's differential equation. And these equations can be transformed into a linear ODE. After we get a linear, then we know how to solve. We need to find an integrating factor and we go from there. So this one is not exactly in this form. So it has been modified a little bit, but this one is like dy over dx. If I move pi y to the left, subtract 5y, I get this one, minus 3y squared. Okay, now px is like negative 5, qx is negative 3, and yn is like y squared. Okay, so this one is in Bernoulli. Now we want to solve this Bernoulli. And at the same time, this one is so simple. Uh, this one is also separable. So I'm going to go into Bernoulli's differential equation, but this one, dy over dx, I can factor y out. That leaves 5 minus 3y in the right side. Now I can bring everything to the left side. So 1 over whole thing, y times 5 minus 3y. And then I got dy in the left equals dx, 1 dx. So we can separate the variables. Okay, and we need to integrate both sides. Here we have to use parcel fraction decomposition, but I'm going to use Bernoulli's form. Okay. So let's rewrite this one. Okay, move this pi y to the left. So dy over dx subtract 5y from both sides minus 3y square. This is almost linear but this y square is causing problem. So we need to divide through by y square. Okay, divide through by y square. So here we get 1 over y square minus 5y over y square. Let me write y to the power negative 1. y over y square equals negative 3. Okay, now this one is function of x and we want to convert this as with new variable v plus dv over dx and here we can have function of x equals function of x. That's the independent variable. So this is linear, okay? So we want to convert in that way. So here then this y to the negative 1, that's our v. Okay, So we let v be y to the negative 1. So we want to convert this in terms of new variable v. For we need to produce dy over dx. Okay, To find dy over dx, let's differentiate both sides with respect to x. So dv over dx equals, let's find derivative with respect to x. With respect to x means we need to use the chain rule. So y n, n, y, n minus 1, negative 1 minus 1, negative 2, times from the chain rule dy over dx. Okay, this one is in fact, let me uh, isolate dy over dx. Then we need to divide by this, so 1 over negative 1, it doesn't have to, don't have to write, y to the negative 2 dv over dx equals dy over dx. Oh, negative exponent we can move up, so negative to the front, y to the negative 2 is y square dv over dx equals dy over dx, okay? Now we're going to replace dy over dx by this. 
and y to the negative 1 with a v and hopefully this will be I mean this should be a linear okay let's do it and I don't need this one so I'm gonna erase this here now I mean this would be in fact star that becomes uh, 1 over y square dy over dx okay that is what we found here okay on the bottom so dy over dx is in fact negative y square dv over dx times negative y square dv over dx right that's what we have and then minus so here minus 5 and this y inverse is v equals negative 3 now here y square y square cancel then we have now negative dv over dx minus 5v equals minus 3 well there's negative in the front let's multiply through by negative 1 so this is dv over dx plus 5v equals 3 now this is a linear okay this is a linear in v with respect to x okay this is a big improvement now now we know how to solve when we have linear we find integrating factor let's denote by mu that is e raised to integral of this one p pi of dx okay which is e raised to 5x okay this is 5 now we multiply this both sides by e to the 5x then the left hand side is automatically derivative of v dependent variable and e raised to 5x integrating factor equals right hand side 3 times e raised to 5x okay from this step if you are not getting everything you may have to review linear ODEs okay the previous section now we integrate both sides then we get v times e raised to 5x equals we are integrating right integrating so 3 is 3 e to the 5x integ integration is e raised to 5x divided by 5 plus c and now we divide by e to the 5x so p equals divide by this so we got two terms so 3 over 5 e to the 5x cancel plus c over e raised to 5x okay I mean but v was not from the beginning what is v v was y inverse or 1 1 over y so that is 1 over y y inverse equals 3 over 5 plus c over e raised to 5x okay you may leave here if you want to solve for y or r okay this is fine not needed but if you want to solve so do not flip these two fractions okay that's a mistake this will be 1 over 3 over 5 plus c over e to the 5x okay why is not 5 thirds plus e 5x over c no 1 over everything we can combine these two but there is no point you, we may leave there 